Alright, hello and welcome to another episode of the Bradford City Career Mode. I hope the stream's working. I think it is. Uh, we're here today with a Europa League game. It's been a little while since we had one. Uh, we'll be taking on Anderlecht though, in the Europa League semi-finals as the first leg. and It'll be the Vibe Parade. I'm so used to doing the first leg away from home. So it's a little bit of a change of pace. I just want to say as well as usual, you probably know by now, there's going to be a one second delay between audio and gameplay for whatever reason. I don't know why it does that, and I don't know how to fix it, so I apologise for that. But here, the other, or here's the other semi-final. We've got Bradford City versus Anderlecht, like we know, and then we've got Villarreal taking on Spurs. The first leg of that, obviously, or not obviously, but I think it's going to be in Spain. And then, obviously, the second leg will be at the other stadium, so we'll see. So let's change some shit around to the team. Because we need some fresh legs. We could give Akibi a start at right back. Kanate could come in for Makano. Sancho's gonna go right mid. I want Carbonero to go left mid, give him a run out. Stamina so levels aren't actually looking too shit, to be honest. They're looking quite good. Haaland come up for Hloshek. I think that's how we'll go for this one. So we'll put Vinicius on the bench. So, I think that's what we're going to do. Let's see what else we've got in the news to read before we go in. Actually, I should show you what happened last episode. If you didn't see last episode, we took on Fulham in the Premier League. And it was a win that you'd expect from us against them. They are a relegation threaded side. We are a... Title winning side, hopefully, in a few days. And yeah, we got the win. Hope well, hopefully, continue to get wins after that as well. Haaland scores a brace as Bradford would have a Fulham. Haaland was a superb form for Bradford City, scoring a brace which guided the side to a 5 0 win against Fulham. That's good because it means he's back in the goals and it's going well as well. Teamwork or Team of the Week. I can't. Fucking hell. Why did I read that as teamwork? Anyway. Militao in there, Ipan Meccano in there, Vinicius in there, and Howland also in the team of the week. Vinicius looking on fire. Look at those stats. Acceleration, sprint speed, agility, and dribbling. That's kind of mad. But um, Europa League semi-final preview. I want to read this one because it's like the semi-final that's actually about us. But the final is one step closer for the winner of today's clash between Bradford City and RSC and elect. All four remaining teams have proven on the pitch why they deserve to be champions, but the toughest tests on the road to glory are yet to come. So I believe it's a, I think it was a favourable favorable draw. A weird um the favourite team to win this, but I've lost against worse teams, so I am no. Anyway, we're kicking it off at the Valley Parade. We'll put gold news on for the other one just to keep up to date with it. But this is the squad heading into the first leg of the Europa League semi-finals at the Vibe Parade. We've got Lafon in goal, Kakachi and Akimi as the full-backs, Militao and Kanate as the centre-backs, Yuri Tielemans as the centre defensive mid, Carbonero left mid, Sancho right mid, Havertz centre attacking mid, Hlushik and Greenwood the strike force, with Greenwood of course the captain. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. I did feel a bit sick this morning, so... Oh well, I say morning, it's about half twelve, it's just in the afternoon. But if I feel a bit... Like if I sound a bit different, or if I sound a bit... Yeah, uh, then I just feel a bit sick. It is definitely not alcohol that's on it. I promise you. Whatever. Goalkeeping drills suck anyway. This is the big night. The two teams have come a long way in the Europa League this season, and now we are down to the last four. It's the first leg. This is where we got to last season Thank before being eliminated on away goals, so I hope that does doesn't happen again. A 
Hello and a warm welcome on what is a good wonderful recognize the players for their team. Perfect playing conditions. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray, and joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and England defender Lee Dixon. And we're at the semi final stage of this season's UEFA Europa League. It's Bradford City. Here's the bracket for no one's interested in the other teams. I'll do a complete rundown of the tournament of the finalists. If we're in the final, of course. If we're not in the final, then there's no point in me doing it. Home fans are out in full force here tonight. And there is the squad they're going to be using. Best, well, not the best, but one of the best. One of the strongest lineups you can bring out. And that's for just the Europa League. Team photo for Bradford City. Uh, team photo as well for Anderlecht. I don't recognise anyone straight out of the gate. Okay, we've got Shane Duffy for whatever reason. I'm not sure the person I recognise off of there. I don't remember him because he's recently signed for Celtic. I know he was a Brighton defender, I think. But yeah, he's recently signed for Celtic, so that's the only reason I remember his name currently. But we're kicking it off, and we're going to try and get a win here, or at least positive result. But if Flosik's just not won the ball, then I, I don't really know what we can do. Yuri could send Carbonero. Oh, he's played two, and Lozic, catch, puck in. The two has gone straight for the shot, but I wanted to flame around a little bit. Sent two, got up to Lozic, and the saves pulled out. Almost 1-0 in the early going here for Bradford City. The Belgian side are looking to try and scrape something out of this one, I think. Bradford, of course, the favourites in terms of team quality. But, I mean, bigger, bigger upsets have happened in life. Oh, can one of you fans go to that now? Right. Greenwood's the one to watch. I mean, not surprising, really. It's the top scorer in the Premier League. Pretty sure he's not scoring all competitions. Went to all competitions and had a look. Which I'll do at the end of the season, so we're not far off looking at that. But Shane Duffy's going to be hanging out the boot, speaking of the uh, centre back. The rumours are true. He is going to end his wonderful career at the end of this season. And what a loss for the club that is bound to be, Lee. Well, legend is a very overused word in my book in football. Carbonero. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry, I sneezed over the mic. But I was mid, I was mid attack. I couldn't mute there. Oh, I knew the that fucking my nose was going to time it, so that I was mid. I was mid cross as well, which is even worse. I apologise for that. Of risk there, oh, can't win ball back. Well, the not its We're not the best team, but it's going to be difficult anyway. Sancho. It's the Europa League semi finals, there's a lot of pressure on us. Raman. Away, 
Oh dear, they're just Looking passing circles around us right now. Can I say that I can read that? How are Yuri's making the run and not, there's no striker making a run there? I don't, I I don't know what the plan is here for you guys, but like, can we get a striker to make a run? Sad show. Back inside. Flashek. Struggles a space for a shot, it's saved, and it's going to be a corner. Spurs went 1 0 up there, as you saw, in the top right corner. And it's not a. C what? Don't mind me, just to go check. See how this isn't the corner. Uh, Alright, so the ball's there. Sick. What's the bounce off my guy? Goal kick then for Andalek. I thought it was a good corner, my bad. Lotal can't meet that, but it's going to fall to Sancho quite nicely. Or it was going to until he got out strength. Couldn't hang on to it. Havertz into Greenwood. Off to Sancho, it was actually meant for Lashek, but it's okay, because we'll fall to the check. We get the ball in the back of the fucking net. Apparently not, is the answer to that question. <laughs> Yuri heads it to no one because nobody's there. Average picks it over this ball. Can we just get a pass off? How it work? Yuri, which is pass accepted. The answer is no, apparently. We can't do that. Too easy, I suppose. I can catch history for that position. Now Kanate is giving that position. Read it magnificently and intercepted. Yuri. Down to Havertz. Greenwood's running through. Greenwood. He's just running into a corner here. In here. And their option on it. Havertz. Off to Loshek. Oh, to come the fuck on. Oh, he won't want to see the replay of this. He should score, but he doesn't. It's a big miss. How is that not 1-0? How is that not 1-0? I need some, like, I need some answers. I just don't understand how that isn't a goal. How we're not 1-0 up in the tie. Raman. Getting forward. Using his Raman physical trigger past the key, me. Uh, Kimi is too strong for that to happen on this occasion. Beautiful and now Sancho's played through. Carbonero on the edge of the area. Oh, it's going to be cleared. Sancho cross. receives it. Yuri. Flash check. Greenwood. Oh, who else, to be honest? Who else would be scoring the first goal in the tie? Who else would give the advantage to Bradford? Well, it's good play. Ian Wright always told And the light kept stopping us, but eventually we broke the defence down and we slid it into the bottom left Let's corner. View of that goal. But the top Premier League goal scorer, probably the top scorer in all competitions as well, but we'll see at the end of the season, the end of the season review kind of thing. Season 7 finale. Mason Greenwood getting his 10th in Europa League that's quite a big total One nil then. Now, I've been thinking about it well not thinking about it but I've realised that Spurs this career mode is probably going to overlap into FIFA 21 so I will finish it off before I do a FIFA 21 career mode 2-0 to Spurs now but yeah I will be finishing this career mode before I move on to another one because I'm so damn close I want to get it done but it takes one more season or two more seasons. If it takes more than two more seasons, I might give it up. But Doku, offside, Randolick. Militao, short to Kikache, and Johan Carbonero now. Boschek making a bit of a run. Keeping the challenge, Havertz is asking for it, he's got it. 
Oh, couldn't get the last little pass across. Maybe I should have just gone for a shot with Havertz and hopes, but... I want to make sure we're scoring goals, not just shooting them for fun. Hakimi keeps the ball. Intercepts it. Yuri. Wasn't the person I expected to get that ball. I was hoping should be there, but... No. And they're like to go try and equalise now if they do, it's in the way goal for him in this tie. Keep the ball. I sh probably should have been, but I wasn't. Oh, we're lagging again. Okay, nice. Well, that's how to do I was getting crowded out. Rama managed to get a chance to deliver something for Anderlecht. He may, might be able to catch up. He doesn't play the way. Or he doesn't, but it is played away, I should say. Yuri out to Sancho. We've got three minutes of added time, possibly a second here before the break for Bradford City. Havertz. Yep, yeah, it's two. Just before half time. The German adds another run on. At least I think Havertz is German. I don't want to get the nationality wrong. Well, Derek, take another look at this now. There's nothing much really the keeper can do. It was good play to get in that position. He is. He's not okay, good. He scored another. I thought it might arrowed into the bottom right. Well, his players have followed his every command and so The coach must be delighted. He's scoring quite a bit in the Premier League, but that's his first in the Europa League. So, 2-0 now. And that's half time. Well, quite simply, he hasn't been able to make his mark in attack. Doku hasn't been well, doing much for the likes up front, apparently, and line. he's the man of focus. Fair, you've got to make your own chances as well. The space is available, he's just not been in it. He's not achieved well, We're 2 0 up. Greenwood and Havertz converting the, the goals for us. 2-0 in the other semi-final as well. The Spurs, and I'm thinking it's going to be an all-English final. I could be wrong, things could change, but currently as it stands, it'll be an all-English final. But this is how it's looking at halftime. Seven shots to six on target, 54% possession with uh, for Bradford State, I should say. And zero shots, zero on target, 46% possession. For so it's looking positive for us, I'll say that much. Into the second, second half, half. it could all go wrong in Belgium. Anderlecht could just destroy us, but I can't think like that. I need to think positive. And a throw in, it's going to be Hakimi. Run back to Kanate. Let me tell you, get there, and he does. I didn't expect him to, if I'm being honest. But our oh, blocks play from us. Can we keep possession? We can. Nice. Greenwood back to Yuri. Catchy back to Yuri. Greenwood. Havertz. Greenwood. I was actually for last check with Sancho. Ah, oh, should have put it low. And we have more live Premier League action coming up for you soon on EA TV. So to get a tackling that couldn't. Next yeah, game, as you can see there, the is Stoke versus game, Bradford at the Stoke City FC Stadium. And a substitution in the offing. And that is the third to last Premier League game of the season. But like I said last episode, we need to try and win the rest of them because Man City have an easy run uh -huh. heading into the, the final the day of the season and we have we have a somewhat easy run we've got Stoke Watford and Chelsea but if Man City catch up and we screw ourselves over and Chelsea beat us on the final day we actually could bottle it to Man City unless they drop points at any point that'd be great that's not where I passed it to though so I don't know what you're doing FIFA been rife. The fans will be excited about that. He's a proper player, isn't he? I'd sign him. And a harmless Catch. cross. Lafon, no worries. Greenwood. Greenwood's gonna get close down to people in that lane. Havertz. 
Last check, the so defenders. Yeah, I can't get through. Like, they're just oh, everyone's there. They've gone for five at the back, I think. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. Okay. I mean, it was a good ball across. I don't know why Kakachi wasn't marking Doku, but it hasn't led to anything, unfortunately, for the Belgians. 30 minutes to play here in Bradford in the first leg of the Europa League semi final. Oh, I've just been bodied. I've legitimately just been bodied. Yuri, I uh, might as well try, you know. I don't know if you don't try. Hard the other way, but that's okay. Next time it goes out of play, we'll make some substitutions. Pressure things up for the last 35 or so minutes. Might as well get some tackling as Kache. Catches on the floor for some, for some reason, whatever reason. I don't know why it's gone to Greenwood. Passing in this game, I really hope it's fixed to next year. I really hope so. Harry Kane scores. 3 0 now in the other leg. In the other tie, I should say. What a save from Alban Lafon. I'm not even going to, like, from. That's a. Brilliant save. And we're going to make some substitutions. Martensen, Palaversa, and Holland all coming on for Greenwood, Yuri, and Havertz. It's a great shot as well. Great shot, great save. What the fuck? That reaction though to pull out a save. Bonham Rimmel would just let that in. We have triple sub, just to keep fitness levels up. And to keep some of the players ready for Stoke. Played into the centre of the box. Hound heads away initially. Now can they make something happen? Won't we'll fall to Bradford City player, it will fall to an Anderlecht one. Plus check, trying to make a bit of space to clear it. Cabin error. And well, it's come down to the final 20 minutes here. Hopefully Haaland through. Oh, damn it. Great tackle. Keep the attack away. Catchy. Great defending. And we should be able to hold on to this. If they get a goal, it is a problem because we'll have to score an away goal. It is an away goal for them. If they score an away goal here and then one at home and win 1-0 and Anderlecht, they're through. Oh, Hloshek, mate, come on. Didn't really go for power, more for positioning, but the positioning he obviously wasn't on target. Fifteen minutes remaining in this clash between Bradford C and Anderlecht. Bloshek with five shots, Hornby with just one. Tremendous intuition to win it back. And news of a goal at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Let's get that news from Alan. It's another one for Spurs, maybe? Hot Thanks, Alan. I thought we were, I thought we would like had the easy semi final leg. But. I'm, I was wrong, I guess. I'll play that too fucking late. Why am I such an idiot? Honestly, like, he asked for it early. I should have played it early. I don't know why I delayed the pass to be honest. That was a dumb idea for me. Results in a free kick. Poor Anderlecht. Due to the offside. Just over 10 minutes remaining in this first leg here. It is to be a throw in. An awful free kick, and it's going to be a throw in for us. I don't really want to say anything too soon, but I think we know which way both these ties are going.
Oh, well, like I said, I thought it was too soon. Aww. Fucking cunt. Such a good passing move, it just needed that one last pass to Haaland. But didn't have power on it. Raman. A really committed challenge. He needs to tackle him. Another Adelaide substitution, Kikuji coming off for Sardella, bench. or Sardella, I gotta pronounce it. But very close to the end now. Van der Lecht are going to put something into this match, get something out of this match, I should say, and they need to do it now. He has teammates to play it to. It is a decent looking attack here. Will he finish? Oh my days. Oh my days. Put your head down, you aim at the target, sometimes you just miss it. And like almost scoring an away goal there. We got lucky. We got very fucking lucky. That's just unfortunate for the Belgian side, but I'm happy with that. We get, we get out of jail for that. I think I was Hornby with the shot. I'm 100. percent But that was too close. Hakimi intercepts. Haaland on to I thought we'd really do anything. Fuck off. <laughs> That's just a frustration slide tackle. Duffy in possession. Duffy. How am I not intercepting that? Minutes. Three, minutes. three minutes of added time. Mandel likes to still get something out of this one. They'll have it all to do in Belgium if they can't get anything. Haaland. Close down. How? No, there's actually no way though in real life that that set back is faster than me. And there's 98 pace. How is the centre back on 99 then? Whatever. We've got an advantage heading into the second leg, and that's all I really want about this match. The options in the centre, it's a shame I'd pass it to the outside and it didn't fucking go there. Full time though, and it's 2 0. I would like maybe a bit more convincing scoreline, like the Spurs and Villarreal one, but we've got an advantage. I'm lucky about that. Well, to be honest with you, Derek, after the first leg in a semi-final, I'd take any advantage. It is a small one, not a comfortable one, but you'd rather go into the second leg up than down. So, lots to play for, still very, very tight. And they didn't score any away goals, which is positive as well. Which means if they score, they have to score two just to take it to extra time. And if we score, a, if we lose 3 1, we go through an away goal rule. So, positives for us here. We're in a very good position. But here are the match facts at the end of the game 9 shots to 7 on target, 49% possession for Bradford, 3 shots to 2 on target, 51% possession for Anderlecht. When the match looks like it's going to Jin Sancho with the 8.5, but Logic and Havers also tie him with those ratings, 8.5 for both of those players as well. Remond with an 8.2, he scored the early goal, the first goal, I should say. And the man of the match for Andalect, I think it was either Shores, oh no, it wasn't, it was uh, Scratch That, it was Shane Duffy. The man is going to be retiring in this season, gets the man of the match. There's the other scoreline, Villarreal nil, Spurs 4, and I don't think Villarreal are going to come back from this unless, like, a miracle happens. I think Spurs have already put themselves to the final, I just hope we can put ourselves there with them. I wouldn't say we're definitely through yet. Have you got time for just a few questions? Maybe 3-0 or 4-0, I'd probably be more confident, but... Obviously, one today at home by two goals. How do you rate your chances to qualify to the Europa League final? Not over yet. We're in pole position, but nothing is over yet. We need to play it just as well in the second leg. However, it's just continuous hot run of form. How satisfied are you his performance today? He did well, he scored a goal. Uh, deserves all praise. However, is a fantastic player and he deserves all the praise he gets. I hope he can continue to amaze us with performances like these. Kairos had a victory today with a 2-0 score. How pleased are you, your team's performance? 
we can do even better. There's also is there an expectation at this club, there's still lots of room for improvement. I'd be happier if we could pull this off every match, truth be told. Thanks so much for your time, that's all the questions we have for you. Well, another game down, another youth squad monthly report to be put into my inbox. I probably could just promote him now, but I'll do it start next season unless he asks earlier. I haven't heard anything back from Varenkov about wanting more money, so I'm just going to pretend that I never saw anything about that. I thought I was going to be a Varenkov money question there when the simulation stopped, but... We've got a, we're not on track email. If this is about youth development, yes, we're not going to do it. Like, I'm not doing it. This stage in the career mode, there's no point. Does our team look like it needs youth development? Like, just, just take a look. Sancho's 94 now, that's kind of mad. But yeah, does our team look like it needs any youth development? If anything, I want to get youth, youth player gone in the terms of Varenkov, but it's not that easy. Anyway, once again, um, I'll show you the Europa League, how it stands right now, as well as the Premier League. This is how it's looking. If we can win, we give Man City next to no chance of catching up, but I don't know, stranger things have happened. As for Europa League, though, this is how it's looking. We are 2-0 up on aggregate against Anderlecht. Of course, we'll play the second leg in Belgium. Spurs are 4-0 up against Villarreal. Uh, they're all away goals. So they just need to not fuck it all up at White Hart Lane or Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. I don't think there's any fear of Spurs losing it, though. And that's kind of scary if we have to take on Spurs in the Europa League final. If we get past Anderlecht, that is. Um, but no, that's going to be the end of another Bradford City career mode episode. Quite a quick episode in terms of like what my usual episode length, so I usually go sort of 40 minutes, but not only 30 minutes. But anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of the Bravo City Korean World, the 2 0 win over Anderlecht. We've got actually, I'll just show you guys quickly, I'm sorry. I'll show you what happened in April and what's going to happen in May. We kicked off the month by winning 4 1 at the Valley Parade against Leicester, we continued by winning 4 1 at the Valley Parade against Aston Villa. 1-0 over Bordeaux, I believe that was in France. And then 4-0 over Liverpool at Anfield, which is kind of mad in my opinion. We then won 3-1 at the Valley Parade against Bordeaux. And we booked our place in the Europa League semi-finals. A 2 all draw at Old Trafford. And then it was followed up by a 4-1 win at home against Southampton at the Valley Parade. And then another 5-0 against Fulham. I say another 5-0, it was a 5-0. Another home win against Fulham. And then Anderlecht. Defeated 2-0 at the Valley Parade in the first leg. They could bring it all back in the second leg, though. There's no doubt about that. Then we take on Stoke for a little gap in between those two Europa League legs at the Stoke City Stadium. And then we'll go to Anderlecht Stadium to take on them. I'm pretty sure we had a qualifying round against Anderlecht at one point. I could be wrong, though. Uh, we've got Watford at home, though. And then we finish off the season away at Stamford Bridge to take on Chelsea. So it's a big... Ending to the season. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of the Bradford City Career Mode. And I'll see you next time.